Hey guys, what's up? I got another game for you guys, but it's going to be a quite uh, different. It's actually the first time I've casted a 4 versus 4, and this is not any type of 4 versus 4. This is not your usual 4 versus 4 because these are Battle of the Pros, as you can see here in the names. We have an II Lag. Actually, that's the first player. I do not know what his level is, but I checked everyone else's level because I couldn't find his. Uh, but these four players are going to be said playing as the Americans. Hello everybody, Fox here, gonna bring you a 4 versus 4 this time, this is actually being the first time I'm gonna cast a 4 versus 4, and uh, this we actually have a special one here, it's actually a special treat for you guys and myself, as these players are not your average players, they are actually all level 16 and above, with the exception of A and 2, A and double I lag, as you can see here, uh, I don't know what level he is because I could not find him on the leaderboards, but for everyone else, I'm going to go ahead and introduce him. AN Lag is going to be playing as the Brits. Over here on the right-hand side as well is Seb. Uh, oh, of course, you guys should all know who he is. He's old school pro. Actually been uh, here forever. Also admin as the uh, on the game replays coming of heroes section. Uh, up here in the north position from Seb is going to be Steady General. He's a, I believe, a level 17 American. Uh, I believe he was the number six spot for Americans on the one versus one. And then further up here in the north is a even more old school pro here. We have Seth uh, actually been playing lately. I don't see too many of his games, but this time you guys will get a chance. You can see he's opening up here with a Jeep. Now going to go over here on the left hand side. We have a Panzer Elite player. I think that's Panzer Elite. No, that's pretty sure that's, yeah, that's Panzer Elite. Um, uh, it's going to be Nas. I don't know how to say his name. It's like No Slil N O S L I W Reborn from the Reborn Clan. Obviously, high level player there, level 16. And then over here, if I can find his other base, is going to be Real Hans, also a level 16 player and above. And then Chains. We all know who Chains is. Chains, a very good player, level 16 as well. Also, uh, he casts games as well. I'm not sure if he's casted lately, but he has his own channel. And then down here in the north position is Nico, also a high level player. All these levels don't worry guys i've checked all the levels except that one player as i said earlier so we're gonna jump right into this game uh this map is gonna be route n13 you can see a little bit of skirmishing here between whose uh, uh units are there here it's gonna be seth right now versus real hans and yeah just seth and real hans right now duking out here in the middle with the jeep and bike now uh steady general is gonna bring in some rifles to help support that gonna repair his bike over here now in the meantime though i gotta look at the tack map guys there's just so much going on i will not be able to cover everything in this game obviously as there's eight players here to cover uh the mg here kind of getting flanked here but it should be fine with these double engineers uh hold a, holding the line here by seb and uh does force actually those um yeah does force that uh bike excuse me mg out here as well as the bike so looks like the americans are going to hold the north hand position very easily as soon as they push out this pioneer squad and bike capture that vp point and then up here in the middle position looks like we have the old british here placing down their defensive barricades right away you can see some barbed wire here by seth was trying to go up but unfortunately they were not able to uh sandbags are trying to go up by and a lag but uh taking quite a bit of fire from that motorcycle they do it and take extra damage as well and this mg uh this bike here is actually spotting for them uh, you can't see right here because of the fog of war but they will manage to no they will not be able to finish it and the mg will finish it off so uh no defensive uh you really do not want sim city from the british player at all over here in the middle and our british player is in a double i lag just for an fyi now chains moving in here with an infantry half track gonna try and take on seth here especially with his bike but he needs to be careful half tracks uh, aren't the most door they're, they're pretty durable compared to these units here two units popping out four chains instantly forces a retreat now he needs to focus fire this jeep here this jeep is in danger taking Oh no, he's going to be taken out. Whose Jeep is it? It's Seth's Jeep and it's Seth unfortunately losing a Jeep early here in the game. And uh, somebody lost a right rifle squad. I'm not sure who it is. It looks like N.A. Yeah, I am watching N uh, Mr. Lag here. Uh, and uh, fortunately he lost the rifle squad and already can see uh not too happy about that so who has the middle here still duking it out up here in the north hand position looks like we have uh mr uh, reborn gonna go ahead and take the north hand position so it looks like americans have the south uh axis has the north and here in the middle still kind of contested although it looks like seth has managed to cap the middle vp point however that could change very very soon here and like this medic bunker here as there's gonna be so much chaos may see some motors uh laying 
Uh, gonna be placed right here by the hedgerow. Very good spot as well over here uh, in the uh, axis side as well. So MG gonna just creep up here. Uh, not too worried about it. Uh, it does have the support of these Volkswagen Air Squad in the uh, green cover. You can see these sandbags were built for them. And then the Bren, not gonna do too much, but that will prevent any units that wanna uh, get ballsy and start capping the VP point. We'll be able to fire onto that. But actually, they don't have any too many units here in the middle, so they could lose it as uh, most of their units are over here down in the south position. You can see someone went weapon support center. It looks like Seb did. Uh, gonna pump out snipers and MGs like crazy here. These folks are in your squad very dangerously to getting killed here. There are two snipers here. One volley. We'll take it out. One more shot. We'll take it out. And the folks are in your squad will barely just get away and no the sniper will not take the shot so uh getting a little bit lucky there so it looks like the south position has been uh, easily held but we can do see some may see some counter snipe here from nico as he's bringing the mg and sniper out here but uh could also you know get counter snipe by this british section over here so we're gonna go back here in the middle uh position looks like the half track from change is gonna harass just a little bit here on the medic bunker try to take it out but uh they're in a bit of trouble here as i said earlier the allies still don't have too many units here in the middle and uh, yeah they are forced to retreat so it looks like they will be able to cap this uh, as there's really no firepower at all for them so um, Americans where are all your units I mean uh, the Panzer Elite does have quite a few units here obviously they are a little cheaper and smaller they do have to group together a little bit and then down here in the south gonna go in the south that's where all the sniping is going on you can see in the chat they're saying hey there's some snipers here uh, I might be getting counter snipe yes there is here here comes the sniper and will we see a counter snipe you can see yes and he does get it taken out you can see where my mouse cursor is so uh, Seb managing to get counter snipe here has two kills on one and five on the other uh, so Al is making a nice little push here actually going all the way up to Nico's base. Nico we're gonna have to reinforce that MG and at least place it right there to uh, start pushing, slowly pushing him out here or and then eventually get into that building which would be pretty nice here. So double snipers here just taking out units getting terribly annoying here. So back here in north position you can see the Axis have made uh, their um, standoff here and have easily taken the middle and have a great hold here with MG's Volksranger squad, the half track to reinforce from. Not sure if allied, uh, not allied units, but your friends, if you're on your team, can reinforce from that, but uh, that would be pretty interesting if they could. So uh, looks like or the double, double snipers here from Seb. Looks like they're going to start moving up here in the middle a little bit here. So he needs to be careful as uh, there is a squad right here behind that building. I love that placement by Chains. Uh, snipers will not be able to shoot it. But the moment, the only way they can shoot them is if they get close to them. Well, they could shoot from this angle here actually. So we'll see how that goes. Chains is going to actually, he doesn't know the snipers are there. So he's going to shoot away. And now the snipers one volley there. Immediately Chains needs to uh, retreat this squad or reinforce them. You can see actually has a HQ here from the Church, so very nice play by these units here but the sniper still going to town on the mg mg is he going to try to reinforce that here in the middle it is uh i'm going to say reborn i know that's the clan but i want to say that can he reinforce that it looks like he can up to two guys now barely saving it and but now the ally is making a nice push here uh so definitely the fort backbone here is seb's uh snipers uh, right now and ooh, even a mortar coming down here where's that coming from looks like that's from chains half track and i think that is gonna stop this for now sniper's still trying to take out that mg and they do manage to take out the mg will they take out this uh panzer grenadier squad as there's only two guys left now it reinforces three guys chains moving it behind the church so they do not get hit in the meantime though up here in the north position looks like not too much going on brand just gonna harass a little bit going back here in to the church uh snipers man these guys are just doing it out 10 8 kills already uh, i'm gonna book on the tech map just to see a, see a good picture of what's going on here going back to the a unit so uh lag man n a double i lag not having uh, too great of a time here uh you can see he's constantly frustrated i'm not entirely sure what it is but seb is forced to retreat those snipers now so we have an ma armored car from seb as well seb all over the place here um but uh what is that going to counter what does he have to counter and doesn't have anything to counter at least i don't see any access units that can counter that ma armored car for the time being so this is going to be pretty key here obviously gonna dislodge the axis a little bit here they do have a mine right here in the middle from real hans and i think uh one of the players did call it out and said detect it i'm not sure who or which side i can't remember uh, actually, maybe I'll check the tag. No, it doesn't say it. So unfortunately, though, he does get a damage engine. I think that was from the... What was that from? I wonder what hit it. 
Yeah. Oh well. Uh, going back here in the north position, you can see the axe. I'm actually going to switch to an axis player here. I might have to go to the chain so you can kind of get a good idea of what units they have over here. Uh, let's check the teching for these players as well. The British HQ getting pretty close up there so they can reinforce and retreat uh, much, much easier. So the axis right here in the middle making nice strides here. We see have some snipers from uh, Real Hans uh, doing some nice damage here and more mines going down as well from Mr. Reborn here. And actually two mines right there so there's going to do tons of damage right on the road when you move with your infantry though you definitely want to use the side here we have some artillery going down definitely going to take out the mg as well as possibly the mine and maybe the sniper the bike as well no actually the ketten and mg does go down so that's gonna uh free up some space there for our uh allied players back here in the north position chains moving in with a few more reinforcement here into the middle in the meantime though it looks like we have a nice little t17 armored car just going to scout out a little bit don't want to get too greedy with it or else uh he is going to be in a bit of a trouble so seb saying hey we need more fuel looks like i did see triangulation go down but i do not see it right now and i think it's from a british player actually so actually let me check uh i don't know who's who's on the allied team guys um so not actually not too much action going on here. Allies do manage to take the north position, but in the meantime though they lose the south. Uh, they lose the south territory, but they are capping the VP right now. And VPs are 500, 374 already. And really most the uh, focus here is in the middle. Once again, so now Allies gonna move in a little bit here with the British uh, lags, British units here realizes, hey, this is a little bit too much for me. So he's gonna have to back out here. MG is still sitting here. Let's see if he does decide to man that or chains is just gonna sit there with his units as well and this motor man just doing so much damage just gonna constantly shell the middle uh, you don't need to hit units but as long as you shell the middle man right there right there uh, take uh, hitting Seth's squad there just slows him down really any sort of push and is gonna force him to retreat and uh, perhaps it's actually probably to counter this mortar emplacement here placed by uh, lag so here we go we have a nice little setup here from Seb two armored cars as well as the AT gun to help counter those half tracks that chains has just so many of uh, half track here mortar half track there infantry or actually has two mortar half tracks and then uh, we also have I just saw a Puma actually it's just gonna go over in north hand position we do have an AT gun here from Seb in position so this is probably what I want to focus on for a little bit here these two armored car are gonna make quite a bit of difference here Ooh. Ooh, up here in the north though, uh, these ally infantry bicep are just getting torn up by uh, are these chains, yes, chains half track once again, infantry and mortar half track combo just dominating them. Now here in the south position, two MA armor cars, apologize for the lag, it is a 4v4, I did turn out a few settings, so that should help a little bit. So uh, this man just take on an engineer squad, or pioneer squad, I'm not sure whose that was, but uh, we'll see if we build this lodge, do we have a counter from them actually, that's what I need to see and i don't think they do chains does not have a counter uh, these ma armor cards are good to go however there's a nicely placed mine by nico so uh the moment he goes in there is going to damage one uh pretty hurtfully and ooh, look at this actually knocking down the hedgerow so this at gun can fire into there and perhaps move his units i'm not sure if units can walk in there i don't see why not but that is a nice little trick there as well as ma armor cards could go through there as well so i think he might have known about that mine and then so uh seb cleared the way for seb actually that's seb's at guns as well so he can move in there so it looks like in the middle we'll actually have a whole lot of action there uh going on chains half tracks doing it once again artillery being called in not sure what that was on let's check the teching for all these players real quick seth has a more pool um i want to check the teching but there's action going in the middle so i switched back i'll come back to that eventually guys as you can see the motors is one two two motor squads here totally one has three kills one has ten and then combo it with the infantry half track to reinforce from for these panzer grenadiers to reinforce and then uh constantly being repaired actually i don't even think that's chains uh is that a repair station because i cannot click on it i'm not entirely sure but it's doing pretty well for them uh the british player does have his own but you can see he's getting shelled and obviously it's not mobile mobile because it is a half track and oh this engineer squad needs to get out here by Seb I don't think he's paying attention unfortunately because we have the push from the MA armored cars down here in the south position uh, the Puma though try is not the counter because it's trying to constantly uh, get that upgrade you can see the bar right there but it's gonna be a little too late uh, I think it did hit a mine here we do have uh, I think there's sector artillery going off here in this area yes it is you can see on the minimap sector artillery that's going off on these MA armored cars 
And I'm not sure how that's being repaired. I think that's, uh, he went to Armor Doctor, and so yeah, that's gonna be repaired. I think it's like 100 munitions or so. But Seb, oh no, this is one enemy armor car, unfortunately losing to the mine destruction everywhere. We do have double snipers from Seb. They are back once again with 14 and 11 kills, paying for itself. So Seb does manage to get the hold here. Church even almost going down here. Oh, loses an engineer squad to that munition, uh, point here. MA armored car almost dying there needs to get out of there as the sector artillery is still going off uh, from our Axis players once again the Puma now has the up gun upgrade AT gun facing the wrong way will be able to take out this MA armored car with ease however the AT gun is now turned around needs to move this up forward needs to micro it away from that it does take out the main gun uh, with two oh no what is that going off here I think that's more artillery from our Axis players trying to counter to AT guns and yes he does actually takes out two AT guns as well as the engineer. Nice radio says Seth. Not sure what that is for actually. Uh, so back here in the middle hand position, looks like the Axis have the middle uh, chains managing to take that, and then uh, so they do manage to hold off Seth's MA armored car. So in the meantime, Axis let's see has the middle, but uh, the Allies have the south and north position. So uh, the Allies are actually in a pretty good spot here. They do have an MG bunker as well as an AT gun to reinforce the uh, north position. And down here in the south, we really don't have actually anything. What is this? Oh, this is triangle, uh, the regular triangle thingy mobile. So we actually have a uh, Panther support group coming out here from uh, Reborn. Does, uh, that is from the Panzer Elite. So let's go ahead and check um, who is a, an American player. So let's see, I'm not sure which one's the British player. Brits, 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 uh, slag, lag. All right, so you can see right here, this is beautiful by him. You can, they can see all the unit movements of the Axis players, and this is so huge. Look at all these units they can see. They can see where the units are moving. Uh, if they're moving up in the north, if they need to reinforce here, they can sort of balance their units, and whoa, is it raining all of a sudden? And uh, does Company of Heroes ever have random rain, or was it always raining? I've never noticed it. But uh, apparently, actually it's not raining, that's my game glitching out. Yep, that's my game glitching out, it's not raining, so I hope you guys don't see that. And uh, actually, there will be a small delay in this game, as I'm going to go ahead and actually it went away, so... Yep, it went away. So sorry for the distraction, guys. Um, let's, let's go ahead and looks like the Axis, so since they have the heavy tanks on the field... My game is just messing up here. Since they do have heavy tanks on the field... As I was saying, there was a little hiccup in the video. I had to fix that flickering problem, and it uh, should be good to go now. As you can see, as I was saying, though, we have the heavy tanks now out on the field from Axis. We're kind of reaching that late game here uh, for these players, and that's going to be absolutely annoying. Uh, we have artillery all over the place as well. Vehicle is just everywhere, but because these uh, heavy tanks are coming out on the field, that's going to be a lot harder to take these middle points because... Um, Hey, you know, we got AT guns and stuff, but these are so stationary. The Axis players do have, as you can see, Neville, Sector Artillery, etc, etc, whatnot, and they will easily be able to counter that. As you saw earlier here, down here in the south position, that these two were killed. They can see that uh, City General is remanning them now, uh, as well as Seb. But we have three snipers up here in the field. They're not going to do anything against tanks, but they will at least be able to scout out, hey, where are these tanks, where are these units, and at least maybe take out these infantry, take out a whole bunch of infantry, and then they'll be able to uh, send in some anti-infantry like these uh, Piats, um, so maybe some airborne rangers, anything with bazookas, maybe some sticking grenades, etc. or whatnot, and then uh, start running these vehicles out of here. So up here in the north position, it looks like we had a nice, nice push here. And uh, yeah, f uh, these two Panthers once again doing the damage uh, from Reborn up here in the north position. Looks like Axis has uh, still managing, excuse me, allies holding the north and south position. But uh, what's going to stop these tanks? Here we have one AT gun. You can see Airborne though is now on the field. Seth realizing that, hey, I need to get started with some recoilless rifles. I'll start uh, start trying to handle these guys. Here it looks like Steady General and uh, Seb as well is going to move here. Uh, they do manage to take a little portion of the south, so they are kind of pinch pinching uh, the Axis players a little bit more here. But is half track so needs to be very very careful those the, the moment he spots those snipers he is going to start landing uh, mortars start shelling that place you can see here shells already landing there and then um, actually if he starts shelling this AT gun uh, he will catch a few snipers so uh, looks like the excuse me 
Okay, I thought I heard something outside. Um, but uh, as you can see, where are these motors landing at? And it looks like kind of just over here. Train's just trying to guess where he's going to go. Up here in the north, looks like these Panthers still are surrendering destruction on them. Oh, we have some artillery going down on them. Does he realize it? He does, but will it be able to get out in time? We may run into the tree. No, it will not. Actually, backing up into the artillery. And looks like that was actually fake artillery from our British player, so our uh, uh, reborn, he is going to be good to go back here in the south, though. We have more destruction going on here. Those triple snipers here, microing them very, very well, popping them out of camo to get that extra speed bonus. And AT guns are he's just trying to get them in position, trying to scout out, hey, where are these units? And uh, so I can put these AT guns in place to take them out, but now these mortar half-tracks, they know where these snipers and AT guns can go. He's going to shell these areas uh, of entry so he cannot do that and uh, uh, lags man he is very vocal about what's going on here uh, but you can see uh, Seth you know they're holding on to what they can up here in north position the allies do have a good amount of AT guns and whatnot as they know the Panthers are in the vicinity and the moment these AT guns get ran over everything else is dead down here in the south though it looks like the Axis have managed to regain the south position and they are gonna start fortifying it Nico already gonna place on a bunker has a bunch of barbed wire. Probably going to see some mines down. If not, if there are not already. No, I don't see any mines just yet. But uh, looks like, oh, we have some heavy tanks out from our allied players. Obviously, these heavy tanks are... Uh, actually, Sherman's not really a heavy tank. But uh, the Pershing is. But the Pershing is going to need some support. It cannot do it by itself. As it, is, it cannot really match up one-on-one, uh, -on -one, even with like a Panther or a Tiger tank on the field. I haven't seen a Tiger tank just yet. We see some vehicles. Actually, some, two more Panthers coming out on the field as well. And then back here. But, uh, yeah, so uh, nice slow steady push though from these players. Not getting over greedy. Not going to lose too many units. Taking out these HQ buildings. Another one actually from Chains. Oh, it's going down though. As well as this bunker here from Real Hans. And then I think, oh, wow, these allies. I totally missed how they took out the middle bit. But they totally just overran the middle. Now they're capping the middle point here. And uh, the airborne is burning in here. They do need to back up though. As they're going to just get mauled by these units here. And they do back up. Dodging two mortar shots. And uh, they will be good to go for now so really needs to start seeing these units over here and oh artillery just going off so much destruction everywhere and uh they need to bring these units bars is the way to go to counter this heavy tier heavy heavy infantry right here and artillery strike is so juicy so juicy if they hit that there but they do not know that uh those units are there artillery going off once again bodies flying everywhere here and there's so much destruction here uh, i don't know clue what reborn is saying over here and he does manage to overrun them. The Stu, though, can do a lot. Stu, excuse me. Stu will do so much damage to these units. Does he have stick? Because he is trying to overrun them. Looks like his infantry will manage to buy it from real Hans and be able to hold them off. He, oh, grenades going off, though. Uh, needs to retreat. These flamethrowers are very, very expensive. Don't lose those. And he does manage to barely, barely get away. So do we have enough defense, though, to hold off this counterattack from them? MG Bunker already going up from lag. Very nice play there, as well as an AT gun in position from Steady General. But uh, artillery coming down, he needs to retreat this unit and uh, AT gun needs to back up in uh, safety of this um, bunker. But uh, be aware, Chain still has these half tracks just going to town on all these units. More destruction over here, Pershing actually a little bit of micro battle taking out, I believe that was a stew or a stug. Uh, now uh, these two Pumas here have no business being here, they need to leave. And the Pumas are going to get out of here. Mind you, the Sherman also has an up run upgrade, so that's going to do an extra damage here. As you can see, the longer turret and the extra base in the sound, um, which is the equivalent of the M10 gun as well, if you're just wondering. So, uh, Puma probably going to go down here from Nico, and Nico not paying attention. Now he doesn't manage to move it. Pershing will get a nice shot, and it misses. Unfortunately, so the Puma looks like we'll get away. Going back here in the middle position. Oh, Chain's finally losing a half track. Chain's just used them so well in the game here. But unfortunately, losing them one. The Steady General's AT gun and uh, Sherman actually flanking over here. So it looks like the uh, allies have finally managed to overrun the middle hand position, pushing in even further with their tanks up here in the north position. Uh, looks like the MG bunker is going to handle these infantry units here. One going to flank the one. Not sure what they can do. Actually, they can take out these AT guns, perhaps. Well, there's an MG also here in the north position, so he should maybe get to go here. I'm gonna watch the tanks, though. His tanks are a lot cooler. I may take out this Neville, but I don't think there, there's anything really to counter them. So, we're gonna go back here in the north. Does force a full, will not full retreat. One, yes, he does force a full retreat here, holding the, uh, I, would, I don't know what you call this presidential palace, but man, this is so key. You see the MG here, such an awesome building. 
and uh, Ally is doing it pretty well here back here in the south position they even taking the south uh, with these commandos here sneaking in here being uh, all commando like and will they place a bomb right there and take out the bunker as well I don't think it's even upgraded does it have an MG yes it does have an MG but the uh, doesn't matter because they're facing the wrong way so we'll see what he decides to do with that in the meantime though we have some tanks chasing some vehicles over here oh no the airborne the airborne are gonna counter are gonna catch these stews out of place here Seb's uh, tanks combined with a uh, hef's uh, airborne easily cashing these units here and they will manage to take them out ooh, air, ooh, running over this airborne airborne seth saying no 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 he needs to get these units one airborne squad is stuck in between the tanks and finally managed to get out of there so uh Stu definitely gonna go down here destroy the engine the person get to finish it off and back in the south let's see what these guys decided to do looks like they did uh put a charge on it and take it out so vp is now 292 to 380 access a little bit on the back foot here surprisingly i thought they had a pretty good hold with just so much um so many motors from chains is a nice combo put up some heavy tanks in the in the front and then uh as long as these motors counter those 18 guns they'd be good to go but uh, so far it hasn't worked out planes going off Oh, over here in the north position looks like we have a, a push here whose units are these are steady generals artillery going off Who's artillery? I don't know, they forced, both the players are forced to retreat actually crossing past or making an X and uh, actually it's fake, fake artillery unfortunately for him so he's gonna have to get out of here. Looks like we have sector artillery in here in the middle, you can see it is highlighted. Uh, correct me if I am wrong, I get those wrong once in a while. But uh, still, uh, Seb, you can see the controls, these guys are so high level, taking a care of their units. Uh, even though there's just so much chaos, you can see their half tracks moving here in the south position. Take, they do take the road for extra bonus just uh just a small tip there and uh we need to be careful though as these units are moving up on these half tracks here nothing to guard these half tracks what is going down here what is going down is it an airborne squad is it an at gun what is it exactly um i'm not sure what that was excuse me this actually should be yeah i'm not sure but uh looks like we have artillery going down there as well so uh maybe it was a plane or something i don't know I don't know guys, but anyway, here in the north position, it looks like allies still holding it, tanks still doing the thing here, these two Sherman and Pershing combo has just been so done, well, three kills from them, what are they hitting, artillery over here in the south position, another bunker trying to go up, perhaps some medic, maybe probably would prefer a repair bunker uh, from them, so they can start repairing though, these are, we got quadruple panthers over here guys, and uh, this is just gearing up for the push. The Axis players have been waiting chains. These are chains to Panthers as well as Reborns to Panthers with a whole lot of anti-infantry. This is going to be so deadly. What do we have from our allies here? And uh, from our allies, we do have some uh, good old snipers here. That's definitely going to be so key. Uh, I need to get these tanks repaired. One's deadly damage is Pershing though. Um, it's gonna be needs to keep these tanks alive. Every tank alive. This was a T gun here. Pretty good position. So, uh, one armored shell is going off on these tanks. Here come the uh, the Panthers. Unfortunately, they're kind of scattered out and about, not doing anything. And uh, is he gonna go? Is he not gonna go? A uh, chain's trying to get his mortars up here. In the oh no, my game froze. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I had to reload the game, so there's a little jump in the video once again. So the, as I was saying, the Panthers are moving in here. Artillery trying to go off. Chains in the meantime, though, was trying to get some uh, mortar shots down onto those AT guns and infantry. And they are fully forced to retreat. Uh, the Pershing here uh, in a bit of trouble. We can see all these engineers desperately trying to repair it. One good mortar shot will absolutely demolish all these units. Whose engineers are these? These are Seb's. So Seb will be in a world of hurt. He's all by himself, unfortunately. His tank's taking so much damage here. Uh, losing one Sherman. Now the Pershing is the only thing alive. And as well as a ton of engineers here. All somewhat hurt here. Double Panthers now. Going to take some fire. We do have an extra Sherman coming in from Seb, though. Going to try to support that. But he really needs to get out of here. Uh, his engineers, though, at least he's retreating them. The moment they are about to die and not totally wasting all their units now sherman though close to dying and he is gonna have to back out there unfortunately and leave the pershing as is and it will die so now we got all three four panthers moving in here one panther actually badly hurt so he's gonna stay in the back however though we do have oh, excuse me hmm, we do have quite the artillery from our british player i did see it in here in his base uh so we do have a howitzer as well then we also have a lot of off map oh we got a another howitzer from our americas as well and then we have a calipi so uh to counter all this heavy tanks uh um even though they do have quite a bit of firepower they do uh allies will have uh the the advantage on their off map uh, artillery and they could start shelling these uh these uh vp points 
Uh, as you know, tanks cannot cap, but they can prevent from any units from capping as long as they continue to shell it here. And you can see it is going very, very well. We do have our howitzer shots going off here uh, to counter this mortar and even hitting a tiger tank here from Nico. Now the Panthers are going to move in here. Will How much damage will they take though? It is pretty damage uh, dangerous as we do have an AT gun, AT pounder from a British player. Uh, looks like they're going to take it on head on here even with the mortar shells going down here and it will go down pretty quickly here. We also have a second AT gun from City General in the back here. These Panthers are actually just taking the blunt of the damage pretty pretty well here. Uh, the, the back one here taking a little bit. Oh man just so much destruction from the artillery. I can't even keep my eyes on uh, just this map here. Uh, let alone the minimap and uh, looks like the axis will finally push through here taking out the last AT gun there body parts flying all over the place the only thing here is this airborne squad that will have to retreat down the two guys so now here comes the Calipi barrage as I said earlier uh, VP still oh, actually has been capped from our axis player so unfortunately they were not able to catch that and actually kind of tickle these tanks here the only thing they really would do damage is these mortars which would be huge as they just got so many kills 28 8 and 23 kills on the other and they really this is such a good push from the axis mortars uh, just constantly shelling and then the tanks slowly moving up with it so uh what do we have to push to stop this here are the allies repairing their tanks do they have them in the back here we see have another house are going up they're gonna con have to constantly shell the middle here or get a nice flank actually we do have a flank here from our uh, allies uh the, it's, they are at guns so it's gonna be really slow and oh no all the AT guns all of this flank is totally getting pushed away here uh get stopped by artillery alone and incendiary flames just burning them alive as you can see real hunts infantry has spotted that so we have quite the standoff here our, uh, look at all these tanks more artillery coming down uh, from our uh, allied player it looks like it was the calipi barrage here more howitzers will he finally take out the um, ch changes half track uh, the tanks are just dancing all over the place just microing back and forth back and forth uh, the the artillery just trying to dodge the artillery shells and as well as try to get some shots here trying to move up but uh, they're, they are holding them off so far, but they need to get some AT guns, this artillery. I don't think it will hold these tanks off and infantry forever. And uh, yeah, you can see here, booby trap going off. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. But uh, anyway, let's go back to the middle where all the real fighting is. There's so many tanks. Everything is gone. All the hedgerows are gone. The only thing left standing is this tower and this little, actually, I think the shack is actually down as well. And uh, let's see, let's just check the health of these tanks here. I'm going to switch to a... Uh, a uh, Axis player. So it looks like Tiger, they're actually all pretty pretty well damaged here on uh, the Panther and Tiger But I think the others are, are getting repaired one almost dying so nice play by chains uh, Instantly takes back those Panthers so they can get repaired uh, Hopefully soon as they will need these uh, sooner or later here in the middle um, as their tank count is starting to dwindle and uh, but they have a decent amount of infantry over here in the middle and uh, now these airborne though they are moving in and these guys are fully fully held as they can reinforce on the field as well and even the Calipi barrage here so it looks like these tanks are forced back and the allies are making the push however uh, we do have this booby trapped here not going to do too much though uh, well, it, it, could, it could make a difference actually from real Han. so we'll see if that does anything the airborne are pushing in here even grenades going off on trying to take on these grenadiers as well as stormtroopers from real Hans. Hans does have triple veteran so they are going to be very versatile and uh, airborne looks like they are going to have to back out of the fight it's just too much taking way too much damage so uh, more artillery just artillery going off everywhere guys this is amazing and the tower finally goes down the last standing building of this middle area so uh, real artillery says uh, lag looks like he was calling out some fake artillery somewhere going on but I hear the shells you can see the shells are just that the artillery is just constantly going off this is like an actual real fight just love this about company of heroes it's not um, as blobby as most RTS's it has a great combination of units here so Howser going off again from our British player where is it gonna land is it gonna land here it'll be amazing if it does and yes it is it is landing in the vicinity he will he take out a mortar half track will he take out a panther will he take out these guys and it looks like it's gonna be short so be in this area here so the only thing in danger is the panther as everything else has booked it out in time well that is very close actually closer than I thought slightly to the left this is dangerous guys and will it take it out no it won't but the rocket barrage is now coming in here it takes out the mortar takes out the engineer squad takes out another mortar takes out the panther and uh oh, 
Oh, this is huge hits. I'm not sure whose units those were. It looks like it was Nico's or real Hans, but these guys are going to still constantly shell this area here. We actually have a uh, Hummel from Chain, so he's going to try and counter at least some of it, as this is mobile. So as long as he... Oh, no, losing the half-track. As long as he constantly moves this, he can at least counter a few of these houses as they are very uh obviously very stationary so it looks like as you can see according to the mini map right here we do have some more sector artillery down in the south position that is how axe is going to hold that at least for the time being and my armored car mind you remember he does have the uh ability to cap with it but ooh, taking a shot from the artillery taking a good chunk of health out of it so we'll see if these guys take it taken out eventually boom trap going off and yes as i was talking about earlier it looks like it's not going to do too much as the general does micro around it and uh, easy, easy, easy fix here. So allies making a huge infantry push here in the middle. Easily, easily going to take that out. But are, do we even see the artillery from the Hummel or anything? Do we have motor half tracks still? I'm not entirely sure. Do we have half tracks? I can't tell. But we're going to go in the middle. Where is this troop movement going to go? Uh, is there anything to stop it? We do have a few tanks here. Excuse me. Onto the field. But uh, are these? These are not anti-tank infantry, unfortunately. So we the best we have here are stickies. We do have a Persian here, though gonna try and support uh against this tiger tank once sticky does manage to land onto that getting a damaged engine here and i think the person will manage to take that out as long as these bars take care of, oh they did take care of those pioneers now more rocket barrages coming in here down here in the south position the home will desperately try to get away has not taken any hits yet amazing oh there goes one of your armored hit but not too much time. oh another one onto that and the panthers though the damage oh the panthers are actually have been repaired and one being currently repaired the tiger tanks very close to dying one rifle squad needs to retreat from steady general hopefully nope uh and uh, it doesn't look like that so the axis looks like this is a bit of a tug of war game i'm not sure if you ever played tug of war in like starcraft 2 or something but the units going constantly back and forth back and forth down here in the middle uh housers continually to shell the middle over here and the tank oh no the tiger tank does go down was the king tiger so that can be brought back i don't think we're going to see any king tiger actually but we would have at least seen one uh, by now so artillery coming up from chains where is he going to counter is he going to counter in the middle is he going to try to take out these uh calipes he's going to go for the infantry looks like he's just going to shoot in the middle probably going to uh hit a few Ooh, hits a nice shot onto the infantry infantry definitely going to have to back out of there but do we see some counter artillery not sure i wish i had like three three casters here telling me uh what's going on and i can see what they're seeing here um now the helm will know it doesn't look like it was countered but uh it does have one fourth uh damage here so what what do we have here vps are 165 274 getting pretty desperate for the access players as they are on the back foot they had a nice hold but the allies have done an amazing push here even on the south position as you can see oh no the the cow the calliope is doing so much damage here uh can taking out so much infantry and uh, the tanks are just they're being constantly uh push back and it, that's the best option uh as they pull these tanks back and they get them repaired but uh, and they're at least they're not losing too many as i say that one tank does go down here and even we have the snipers i think that was a sniper somewhere somewhere here uh taking uh, some shots at the panzer elite player here down here in the south position it looks like they're still holding on to it but just barely actually i think it may be taken out here pretty soon here as the t-17 armor Ooh, some camel guys here may take it out from Nico and I'm not sure I think the more fight interesting fight is here in the north position as we do have AT pounder um, up and running here in the middle however could go down to a humble eventually but he just slowly leapfrogging uh, these units here and uh, so let's see let's check the tank count actually one oh 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 man it looks like it just died actually so the Hummel, uh, we actually have two Hummels here. What are they doing? What kind of damage are they doing here in the middle? Some counter artillery from chains. I bet the uh, allies were not expecting that. As usually that's more of their uh, type of thing to do. But it doesn't look like chains did manage to land any good hits on these uh, Calliope's, unfortunately. So uh, he will be good to go on those as well as the Persian. You gotta protect it against this Panther as well. And eventually we should have some airborne moving up here eventually. No, just some commandos. Uh, it's just a lot of units here getting repaired at the time being with another Sherman coming out for uh, Seb and more destruction just raining destruction on that tiger and uh, we do have an engineer trying to repair that but we do have two tanks here but the sniper definitely double snipers are going to take care of that and uh, what's that fake artillery to stop that Pershing from pushing in um, uh, the Pershing needs to be somewhat careful here oh nice artillery hit as well as the uh, as the uh, Sherman coming in here to help support that so now these two axes uh, 
Axis tanks are moving back here. As and lag has just pointed out a very good point here. The burger tiger is out on the field, which does allow you to revive these tanks. So that would be huge if they could revive a few of their heavy tanks that had they have lost here. There is one Jag Panther that did go down near the base, and I think I will check on that after this fight uh, stops here. Uh, on that, and oh, nice flank there from uh, that tank, and it looks like the Tiger Tank is in uh, quite a bit of trouble here. What do we have here to support it? We only have one pair of Grenadiers from Rohans that actually has any fighting chance against these tanks. So, uh, looks like the tanks so have managed to stop here. Gonna play safe and stay back. So, where is that Burger Tanker tank tanking? Yep, yep, it is getting the Jag D. Uh, Panther and uh, so that will help quite a bit here, but now the Sherman is going to move in here. It is getting repaired, and I think we had another Panther battle group. What was it called in earlier? But um, we have actually Sector Artillery going down the south once again. Uh, that's the only thing protecting it, as you can see, getting a shot off at the Camando. So here you go, another big tank fight here. Artillery going off once again, and uh, it's the Sherman. Who has advantage here? And I think the Axis do slightly here just because they have the bigger, tougher tanks. No, actually, uh, the Panther is actually very low on health and actually may go down here, especially with the artillery support from the AT, from the uh, Calliopes and Housers here in the back, as well as the AT gun just firing shots there. Probably has the armor piercing shells going off. I can't tell. There's just so much noise going on. And yeah, the Axis, of course, is going to have to pull back. DPs are 108 to 274. Uh, and uh, I think, I don't think they will be able to sneak in units since there's just too much on the map. Usually in one versus ones they are able to ninja cap certain uh, areas, certain units, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. Nico actually has a nice little Oslo down here in the south. So he does, um, you know, you need to hold that south position, that's all you got. And, uh, ooh, man, look at this nasty fight here. Pow, pow, pow on these commandos. And will the commandos go down? I think they're trying to reinforce from this glider, and I think, ooh, lag is paying attention. It does manage to barely retreat that, and I think he will. Flamethrower is though coming in here. They're gonna burn up all these guys here. Uh, these are our units from Chains and Chains. Just managed to retreat out there, while realizing, hey, this is not a good idea. So actually, you're in the middle, more tank fighting, guys. Oh no, no, the Pershing is actually gonna go down. Artillery going off though, and uh, the Hummel, unfortunately, from Chains gets taken out, uh, getting caught out in the open just a little bit. And I think it was because Chains was busy here in the south position trying to trying to uh, uh, manage his infantry so uh, does well, what went down here guys I, I just was looking here uh, the panther does get a sticky on it and it looks like artillery more going off on the panther and it uh, looks like the axis will barely come out of terror but mind you they do have quite a few bars here and the airborne as well and this tiger needs to get out of here it's just such a dangerous spot for it and I think it, it could get taken out here Rocket Barrage pushing these tanks even further back. Berg Tanker get actually very close to that Rocket Barrage. So Jack Panther is out on the field here and will come here to support uh, these units. But I mean, I don't know if it's safe to even bring it out as uh, these guys here will start shelling that away, especially with these rocket constant, constant Rocket Barrages here. And oh no, it's going to go down. Will it take out these axes? Oh no, he loses two squads right there, unfortunately. And uh... <laughs> And uh, now he's repairing, at least he didn't lose a panther, but man, that was huge. And, um, Seth asking, how'd you get a Neville? But uh, he might have, I don't know, I'm not sure how he got it, but I just picked it up. I don't even know where it's even at. But, uh, Ally's still making a, the, the, the spear here, the spearhead here in the uh, middle, BP 74 to 274. Axis tanks are the only thing that is keeping these uh, guys alive, but really, um, look at this, look at this big bob of units, Tiger Tank trying to do what it can here. Artillery strike or something would be huge. I'm not sure if Chains has any of his Hummels left. He did lose one Hummel, and I'm not sure he's going to win here. Lots and lots of grenades coming off from Nico. These stun grenades, these bundle grenades are just paying for itself so well here. But I think there's just way too much firepower for him to deal with, even with this uh, M3 half half track even sitting there with the MG and MG there. Uh, so the Tiger Tank needs to trying to dance around these AT guns, trying to do what they can. And uh, I think he will take out the AT gun. Meanwhile though, in the middle, we have the Sherman uh, taking on these tanks still. This, this tank battle is still going on uh, for the entire time here. And uh, will this Wreck and Barrage kill this Berg Tiger finally? And it will not actually. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, no, main gun destroyed. I'm not sure if that matters or not. I don't know. I wonder if that actually prevents it from repairing anything. This tank doesn't have a main gun. 
and I wonder if that's just what it registers as. So, uh, Jag Panther, unfortunately, coming back from the dead, managed to take out one tank, but I think the Sherman is definitely, definitely going to finish it off. VP 69 to 274 now, but uh, the middle VP is neutral, and who's capping it in the time being? Who is capping it? And it looks like, oh no, it actually got uh, destroyed by one of the Panzer Elite players. And, uh, oh no, 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 actually the Sherman's going to go down. And, oh, it actually did check out the Jag Panther, so uh, looks like, um, looks like Hans is going to take out the Sherman. In the meantime, though, in the north position, I did not realize it until Seth said HQ down. Uh, unfortunately, oh no, the AT gun, that's what he's talking about. Seth taking an AT gun from the Axis players, oh, this is so bad. Uh, he, he took out all these infantry right here, and before that, Panther from Chains finally took it out, and that, that just really really sucks so here in the middle let's see what's going on are they repairing it? yes they are repairing it and yep he's gonna start capping it now and then 56 274 and there is a cooldown on the off map support group says uh he says so uh it's gonna take a while before he gets some units to repair that hq um but i i think these guys pretty much lost here here in the north position uh it finally finally got capped no more sector artillery so these rifles were easily able to take that on and then these rocket barrages and constant artillery are just going to keep the Axis players back as they were in like the second half of the game here. And uh, uh, I think we're going to see one one last push hopefully. Uh, I don't know. VP is 29 to 274. The replay is obviously almost over. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Um, tell me how it worked out. Um, I haven't actually watched any 4 versus 4, versus four casts uh, ever in a while just just because I never see them get cast so I'm not sure how it worked for you guys it's just oh there's just too much and you I can't capture the whole thing so it's not ent entertaining for you guys or say hey it's still good um so entertaining so let me know what you guys thought these were all pro so you GG's from everyone and it uh, looks like Axis will manage to take the game congratulations to our allied players here uh, Steady General, Seth, Seb, and Mr. N.A. Uh, lag that loves to express himself so I will see you guys in my next cast